morning students so today in this video we will discuss our chapter 12 that is reproduction in plants okay now you see all living organism they have definite life span is not it now what is life span life span is a time period from our birth to death okay so after a certain period of time we will die so to propagate their species and avoid extinction okay animal reproduce now what is reproduction reproduction is the process by which a living organism produce young ones of their own kind okay why they produce to avoid extinction okay to propagate their species okay so here we are talking about reproduction in plant now you see let me ask you one question what are the parts of a plant roots stem leaves flower is there so these are what parts of plant now what are vegetative parts of a plant you see the leaves stem and roots are vegetative part of a plant and it is responsible for growth and nutrition of plant okay and flower is a reproductive part of a plant okay a flower has both male and female reproductive organs okay so they are what reproductive part of a plant now we will discuss about different methods of reproduction in plant okay so the first one is asexual and the second one is sexual reproduction now we will discuss about asexual reproduction asexual reproduction is a mode of reproduction in which offspring are produced from a single parent okay without any involvement of seed and offspring produced through this reproduction asexual reproduction are identical to their parent okay so there are some common methods of asexual reproduction these are budding fragmentation spore formation and vegetative propagation here is a short video which will help you to understand this topics clearly okay reproduction is vital to the survival of species in sexual reproduction no male and female gametes come together to form the offspring which receive seeds from both parents Where sexual reproduction is not possible, some species of single-cell organisms, plants, and fungi have evolved asexual methods of reproduction. Asexual reproduction involves a single parent and results in an offspring that is identical to the parent. Because asexual reproduction does not involve fertilization or the production of seeds, it is much faster and requires less energy, and so ensures the survival of the species even when conditions are harsh. Asexual reproduction in plants may occur either by vegetative propagation. Budding, fragmentation, or spore formation. Here we will cover budding, fragmentation, and spore formation. Click the highlighted blocks to learn more. Budding is a type of asexual reproduction that takes place in organisms such as single-celled yeast. A small bud-like projection called a bud is formed in the parent organism. The nucleus of the yeast divides into two parts, and one part of it is taken by the bud, creating a fully grown individual organism. This new organism may either become detached from the parent organism or remain attached and form a chain of yeast. This is how a large number of yeast cells are produced in a short time. Fly fragmentation is commonly observed in a type of algae or palm scum known as phylogenera. Under magnification, its cylindrical cells 
can be seen joined end to end in long filaments. In this form of reproduction, the filaments fragment and their component cells are split to form new cells. As the process of fragmentation continues, the algae spread quickly over a large area.
Another type of underground stem is the tuber, which stores food. And potato is a good example. You might have noticed the stars on eyes of potatoes. These stars give rise to plants, which can develop into new plants. Apart from roots and stems, leaves also help some plants reproduce. In plants such as wild fiber, little buds develop at the leaf margins. These buds drop off from the leaf and grow into new plants. These young plants are copies of the parent plant. So just now we will discuss about artificial method of vegetative propagation. What are the artificial method of vegetative propagation? Usually artificial methods of vegetation are of three types. Cutting, layering and grafting. So at first we will discuss about cutting. Okay. okay. Now we have seen some plants like rose. Okay. What we do? We cut the stem from the parent plant. Okay. Or in sugar cane. What happens in sugar cane? Nodes and ingredients. of the sugar cane and if you plant it what will happen new plant will grow from this stem okay students now we will discuss about grafting what is grafting okay see grafting is a method of vegetative propagation in which variety of plants are produced okay and it usually produces hybrid quality of plant we will see how in grafting two plants okay stem of two plants suppose this is the main plant Okay, suppose so this is the main plant. What we will do? We will cut the stem, stem of a plant A. Okay, so this is plant B. And from here, this is stem, we will put it here. Okay. From plant B also, we will cut the upper section and we will place this one here. Okay. The upper one will be called skion and the lower one will be called stalk. Okay. And now what happens in this region, we will tie it by putting some cow dung or nutrients. Okay, then what will happen? See, this plant B is already a complete plant. It's not it. From plant A only we have taken the stem. Now what will happen this plant B? The stalk of this plant B will provide water to the skin. Okay, as a result what will happen? It will grow and it will produce flower which has a characteristic of both. B. Okay? So is it clear about grafting? Okay. Now we will discuss about layering. Okay? In some plants like bohemia, lemon, what happened? The branches of this plant, they layer down to the soil. Suppose this is the parent plant, the branches will layer down in the soil. And from soil what happened? They get Food, okay, nutrient, moisture. As a reason, what will happen? Who will grow there? Okay, so what will happen if we cut in this region, this plant will grow as a new plant. So this process is called what? Cutting. Okay, so students, this is all about asexual reproduction. Our first video ends here. And we will discuss sexual reproduction in our second video. Okay, thank you and have a good day.